Hello everyone, welcoming you to Short of Source classes and today we are looking at the ISI MSQE 2023 paper question number 6. Consider a market demand function P equals to 100 minus Q where P is the market price and Q is the aggregate demand. There are two firms, firm 1 and firm 2 with identical cost functions. CI is equals to 0 if QI less than equals to 10 and it's infinite otherwise for I equals to 1, 2. The firms simultaneously announce their prices P1 and P2. The demand coming to form I is as follows. So it will get the entire demand if its price is lesser than the other. It will get half of the demand if it is equal to the price of the other. Otherwise, it will get no demand. So the Bertrand Nash equilibrium is how much? Which of the price combinations? Okay. So if we look at the options carefully, let us have a... Uh, understanding case by case. If you look at all the options that are given in this question, at equilibrium, both the firms will be charging the same price. P1 is equals to P2. So, as at optimal, P1 is equals to P2, and both the firms will be getting half of the market demand by this logic. So the profit of both the firms will be the same for all the four combinations. So if we check option by option, we can easily get the answer. Let us take the first case. P1 is equals to P2 is equals to 100. Sorry, 0. In that case, what would be the profit of firm 1? It's basically price is 0. If the price is zero, then the quantity demanded would be basically 100. And if it is producing all the 100 units, then it will incur infinite cost. So this is basically tending to minus infinity. What about the second option? P1 is equals to P2 is equals to 20. In this case, price is 20. If the price is 20, the total demand would be 100 minus 20, which is 80. And firm 1 will get 40 of it. So 40 minus. So since it's producing 40 units, its cost will again be infinite. So infinite. So this will again tend to minus infinity. The third is P1 is equals to P2 is equals to 80. So in this case, price is 80, the total market demand would be 100 minus 80, which is 20. It will exactly get 10 units. And if it's producing 10 units, then it will incur a cost of 0. So minus 0. So this is basically giving you 800. And the last option is if it's produced, if the prices are 90, then it would be 90 into. If it's 90, then the total market demand would be 10 units. It would get 5 units of demand. And given the cost function, it would be 0. So this basically gives you 450. So out of the 4, the one which gives you the highest profit is option C, which is P1 is equals to P2 is equals to 80. So the correct option for this is option number C. Thank you.